Hey folks, this is IOE Theron. We're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Buraz in a tier 10 game on Lakeville. And he's in this Object 430. This is a tier 9 Russian tank. Um, it used to be a tier 10 Russian tank. And then I guess they thought it wasn't quite good enough to be tier 10 anymore. And so they demoted it. And then they gave everybody who owned one an actual Russian heavy tank. Um, <laughs> that's quite good. Uh, and so now, everybody who owned that now has this thing. And obviously, Braz has decided to, he wants to play a little bit with his. And uh, so we're going to see some awesomeness of what you can do in this tank if you actually know how to use it. If you play it correctly, just don't mind the fact that apparently he's blue from a previous game. And uh, thankfully, the rest of his team doesn't know because that, that's probably for the best for right now. I love the way he is using the hill in front of him and just aiming for people just poking them just a tad too far up over that ridge line. And he's blowing the tracks off and getting them stuck and doing damage as well. He I'm kind of surprised he's not farming um, spawning damage because of the, uh, the blowing people's tracks off and stuff. But I guess uh, it happens the way it happens. I mean, if they're going to keep giving him these shots, then he's going to keep taking them. Ooh, that one just unfortunately, because it was wiggling too much, we hit the wrong spot and bounced what looked like a clean pen. But oh well, that, that'll be fine. I mean, at 1200, 1200 damage at less than two minutes in the game is nothing to shake a stick at. And uh, definitely something we're all striving for. Come on, somebody poked their head up just a little bit too far, right? Please? For me? Do it for me. No? I hate y'all. Oh, he's looking for that lower glacier shot. Unfortunately, from this angle, that lower glacier shot is probably a bad plan. He actually just... He's, he's uh, trying to... Um... He's basically trying to side scrape. Ooh, nice job. Blows the guy's tracks off. Still no spine damage because apparently nobody is shooting what he's tracking. Which is interesting. Yeah, see that's the problem with being this far above his target. At where Glacis is angled at such a large degree that he's actually having difficulties penning it. Even though technically it's the weakest section of the tank. There we go. Blows the guy's tracks off yet again. And yet again, nobody's going to even look at the guy. <laughs> this has got to be frustrating. There we go. Good shot in. Unfortunately, that traded some damage over. And the 430U on the enemy team gets his first shot on us. That actually goes through. Nope. This is a bad spot. This is a bad... Oh, oh. Bouncing things. I don't think he meant to be in that position. Um... I'm going to assume lag is what happened right there. And it uh, it definitely carried him really badly out of position. And we lost a ton of health for that. We got two decent bounces, actually. And so we're not in as bad a shape as we could be. I expected us to die from that uh, little expedition. Um, but that's obviously not what happened. We did, however, get far enough out that um, we lost enough health. We're going to have a little bit of an issue from now on. Because, of course, from now on, he cannot be get sh uh, getting shot by uh, two things. And that scorpion, if it rolls high enough, one shell will kill him. There we go. There's the 430U. Basically, the upgraded version of this tank that is already dead. And now he's looking at the STRV 103 back there. STRV must have been the one that killed the batch yet. Or it snuck up there recently and hasn't been spotted before that. I wonder if he's been shooting this entire time or not. Well, we just got lit. But the uh, Conqueror is in no position to shoot us. <laughs> Artillery lands a... Wow, okay. Artillery lands a show barely. And then the Conqueror does actually put a round into us. Um, not 100% certain where that one went in. Though that might be it right there. 
don't know. Doesn't really matter. Uh, because he's this close, the Conqueror will always proxy spot him. So he's gonna have to figure out a way to either put distance between him and his target or figure out another way in. He does not, in fact, elect to uh, continue pushing, pushing the valley. He's looking like he wants to go around. So we're going to speed this up because this could be a while before he does anything significant in this game. In one hand, he can basically defend against the valley push from here and also defend against the the push from the town. Unfortunately, he gets really unlucky and um, and gets uh, spots the conquer after he spots his, spots the CRE. And somehow, even though the the conquer bounces <laughs> artillery land the shell on his head, and uh, wow, that's is just a bad end to the game so far. Um, you're gonna have an unfortunate time at the end of this, unless you can start. There we go, peeling and and then skimming, slowing, you know, <laughs> trimming down the number of enemies you're facing. Because your your uh, T95 is only gonna face uh, stay alive so long against such odds. And the T54 T54E1 has in fact pushed up, but apparently not far enough. Now that we're down off that rock, we can't fire as far as we could before. And so we can't actually get our gun into that fight. Well, the Scorpion, we can still... What? Okay, well, fine. We'll just take that kill then. Okay, apparently we weren't going to hit the Scorpion with that round. We're going to have to hit the Scorpion with this round. There we go. Unfortunately, by then we have lost the STRV. And with only T95 left, I don't feel it's going to live that long. Um, it's got its back to a scorpion. Whichever way it turns, it has its back to a scorpion. Thankfully, though, we are able to get one shot off. No! Last ally falls. And there goes one of the enemies. And it was a 4v1. Now it's a 3v1. With 50 health, all the RD, RD has to do is land a shell near us, and it's done. Or the Scorpion just has to fire HE, and it's done. Game over. Pack your bags. Go home. I wonder if that last shot damaged his turret. That's why he was backing up in such a weird way. I don't know. Um, we are going to fast forward this, because I do not know when the STRV shows up, if he shows up. Um... It looks like we're actually going back to the enemy base. Um, having found the enemy artillery, he's now in an epic position where um, he can just go ahead and kill this guy and proceed on and start capping the enemy base. Yes, we got spotted doing that, but that that's okay. I mean, the SCRV isn't going to be able to get, get set up in a great position in this short amount of time, right? No, instead, he's going to start capping our base. That's his response. And it's a great response. It's a perfect response. But it um, means we also know exactly where he is. He's going to zip past all these guys. Uh, zip past here. Down to our base again. Short tour of the map. And there is the SRV. Um, unfortunately, he was able to turn... But um, we were able to snap a shot off before he could. And now it is down to who's got the best cover. And of course, we do, right? And that is about to be the end of the STRV. Yeah, great game. That was, uh, was a lot of fun to watch. Ace Tanker. He also got a Hand of God. Bruiser, Duelist, Fire for Effect. A ton of bond. Well, five. Not bad. Defender, High Caliber, and Top Gun. Wow. He put out some damage this game. Well done, sir. Almost 5k all by himself. You gotta admit, like, I mean, he had some of these guys with him, and I don't remember who they were because none of them were very good. None of them did a whole lot of anything. He blocked 1600 damage with his armor. If he hadn't done that, he'd have died and lost this game 
so badly, but uh, well done, sir, overall. You did great. Not quite enough for 6k damage, but um, I feel like we can, like, shimmy you in just under the bar, right? No one has a has a fault with that. Well done. Thank you so much for saying this in. I can't wait to see your next one, and um, everybody enjoy the bonus clip. Have a great night. This is IOE Threat.